What's up guys, Ryan is here along with Odin. We're on a ride here, but don't mind him too much. Today, the main focus is going to be this thing. This ginormous thing that's sitting in my living room. This is pretty much a new water dragon cage. And I know I mentioned in my previous video, I was working on something, getting something, going to be updated for my water dragons. I got so many, so many co comments about my water, my water dragons habits have been way too small, and I know, but I just choose not really to bother with answering too many of those comments because I know this is the outcome. I knew this is what I was working on, but before all that, this is actually, let's not even worry about that. Let's just get right in this, guys. So if you want to get a little closer in here, six foot cage to a six foot tall, four feet wide, because I'm going to get so many questions of people just constantly going to ask me, how big is the cage? What are the, what are the dimensions? And because I know some of my old videos is the same thing I've always get, and I'm gonna try to write that in the description or in the link in the bottom so you guys can just see that. Because please don't ask me like a million times what's the size of the cage. Six by four feet wide, and we got two doors here. So let me just get this going. We got two doors. I just put a simple lock on here so I can open it. Door swings open. Nothing fancy. We just have like some green like kind of chicken wire. But I could have done a better job of like. Maybe making it kind of more more firm, but it's like whatever. Guys. He's probably just gonna climb on it, maybe tear it up once in a while. All right, now on the bottom I have it secured as well. So well, the door just slides open, boom, just like that. I oh, just got terrified of this. Come on, buddy. So as you can see, the bottom I maybe put a barrier on the bottom to keep the wood chips in, and also if you're familiar with water dragons, they will tend to rub their face on the uh, on glass much surfaces that they can't see they can't understand what glass is but here we put a piece of wood so they don't have to worry about anything like that he's kind of just chilling on the bottom he's still getting used to his new habitat and he doesn't he doesn't seem to kind of like haven't gotten adjusted to it yet so it'll probably be a little while so he kind of starts to kind of make it a little more comfortable in there i pretty much just have wood chips on the bottom that's pretty much main 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 substrate material that's what i had going to the the garden section of your hardware store big chips wood i like them big so that in case he does happen to get a piece of wood then he's less likely to eat it so big pieces that's what i prefer he's in there just chilling i know you see little dishes here but i promise you i'm gonna put big dishes of water because people will be constantly complaining and talking shit about the where's the water where's the water he's a water dragon with no water it's like jesus christ dude. people just get so crazy and anal about things over the internet but like I said, it's a big cage, you got plenty of space. It's coming, guys. This is just giving you guys a little quick tour. I got a bunch of wood. This is pieces of wood that I ended up getting from like a, a local pet shop that I, I was, I'm pretty familiar with, not too far away from here. Um, not really decorated as you can see yet. It's kind of still in the, in the works. We just have like a little single plant, kind of like kind of lame right now, guys, but we're promised we're gonna get more, more vegetation in there. Um, one of the most important things you definitely want to look into, guys, I definitely want to try to get this set up right because you got to get your lighting right. So Mercury Vapor Bulb, this is the, I believe the Exoterra Solar Glow. It's 125 watts, so you can come up here just bask if he likes. That's pretty much going to get him nice and warm. I have a ceramic heat emitter next to that. It's pretty warm here at the moment. This house gets kind of warm, so I don't have to worry about using that too much right now. So I just kind of shut that off, leave it off at night. Also, I have a long strip of LED lights just to make sure you illuminate the cage. But this cage is pretty big, guys. That would need a lot of light that way it penetrates deep down into the cage. Um, that's and the, of course, as you can see at the top, it's just like a chicken wire mesh, and that seems to hold the temperature just fine. I got the kind of the, the thicker material that I was pretty sure that was not going to melt that, so I have no issues there. The front, of course, you definitely don't want to get that exposed to any heat, so I haven't had that issue. Doesn't melt because it's like a rubbery kind of plastic material, so in case he doesn't get any, he doesn't get hurt. And there's a cat. This is this is. Luckily, it's, it's pretty tough. See, cat, then the can use that shit as a jungle gym or some shit. Just climb a little bit. Come on, cat, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? So that's it. If it withstands the cat, I'm pretty sure it withstands the water dragon. Uh, I don't even know what to say. This is goddamn cat. All the lights are going to be on timer, so that everything will shut off for whatever on maybe eight to ten hour intervals, depending on how how we'll see how it is, depending on the, on the daylight, on the hours. I can adjust with that. Usually I put them like eight hour days, eight hour night, so that's kind of what I, what I leave it at. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's not much else to say. It's just six foot cage in the middle of my living room now, water dragon home, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm going to make update videos, having more vegetation in there. I'm not probably, I'm probably not going to put any live plants in there because I think it's just too much work. And there goes cat. I know there goes cat.
This, this, is, this is what I'm going to have to deal with. Odin, can you just get Cat off here, man? This is going to be your job. Keep Cat off it. But it just sits there, does not care about anything, guys. He just like, whatever. And the little light is on. He keeps turning his light on, freaking scratches his neck, and he turns it on. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this is, isn't too long. I've gone over everything that I could say. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention, like, the coating, I did stain it. It's like a light, well, not even like a light gray, it's kind of a darker gray. And also, the, it, I kind of coated it with the polyurethane, so that makes it, uh, it kind of makes it waterproof, so that way I don't get any water leaking onto the hardwood floors. So all of it's coated, the inside, the bottom. I put like two layers of it, so that should keep all the water in, not have to worry about any like leaks. The front, I know, kind of does let humidity out, but I'm gonna pretty much substitute that with just having a big dish of water. So if he wants to jump in the water, that'll kind of serve, that'll, at least that's how he's always kind of been used to it. That's how I've always had him, just a big dish of water. If he wants to get wet, boom, just jump in the water. So, but that's what we're gonna do guys in the future. So keep, hopefully you like the video. Keep watching guys. Leave me a comment, guys. See what you think. Any any feedback? Come on, guys. Don't be a dick. Don't only fucking leave any negative comments on the video. There's no point for that. There's no need for that. Just let me know what you guys think. Any feedback? If you think it's too, I don't know. There's something I should change. I think I'm gonna change the wood, maybe the wood the way it's arranged. Cause I'm kind of messing with that the, the the distance from the heat if it's too much. I'm gonna test the temperatures because right here it is pretty warm. I don't know the exact temperatures. I usually get my thermometer and check temperatures because I aim for like mid to high like. Mid 90s, maybe that part was just fine. I also have to see how he reacts to it. So if he's, he's never in the basking area, I'll probably bring it down. If he's always in the cool, on, on the cool end, it's too hot, and vice versa. So if you're familiar with reptiles, how they react. So right now, he tends to be staying on the bottom. So it could be he's too hot. So that's what I'm gonna change it up or see how he feels. But then again, weather's pretty, pretty warm here. But that's it, guys. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.